Historic wins highlighted last week's games. This is the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. I'm Keith Arsenault. Last week, the students at the University of Hartford celebrated the annual spring break. However, the spring sports teams were busy with a full slate of games. Let's take a look at the baseball team, which hosted Fairleigh Dickinson last Wednesday. The Hawks got off to a hot start last Wednesday afternoon against the Knights. James Alfonso getting things started in the bottom of the first with this double to right to drive in Pat Noth. The Hawks led 3 to nothing at the end of the first. Bottom two, Alfonso again with two on. He slices this one past the shortstop to drive in Meerman. Hawks went up five to nothing after the second inning. The Knights were hitting the ball but couldn't get runs across the plate until the top of the third. A double over the wall by Ryan Kresge drove in a run, but the Hawks too much to handle as Alex Bolger hits a shot right past the diving first baseman that drove in a run and then capped off in the bottom of the fifth by guess who? James Alfonso, another double. He went three for five on the afternoon with four RBI as the Hawks cruised to an 8-4 victory over the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights. Hartford baseball picked up three wins last week, punctuated by a no-hitter by freshman Sean Newcomb against Yale on Saturday afternoon. The Hawks head to Storrs, Connecticut to face UConn on Tuesday, followed by a home date against Fairfield on Wednesday and a three-game set against NJIT over the weekend. Let's transition now to lacrosse, which picked up a 24-4 victory over visiting Wagner on Saturday afternoon. In 90 seconds, we'll show you all 24 of those goals. all the scoring by the Hawks lacrosse team, it was Scott Bement, the senior goalkeeper, who won America East Player of the Week honors. He gave up just two of the four goals scored by Wagner on Saturday. The Hawks' 24-4 victory over Wagner came after a close loss on the road at Sacred Heart on Wednesday. The Hawks will open up their America East Championship defense on the road at UMBC Saturday in the America East opener. The softball team had a rough week last week as they finished up play in Florida on their spring break trip and opened up America East play. The Hawks host Marist on Wednesday afternoon for a double dip before heading to Binghamton to continue their America East slate. Women's golf opened up the season on the right foot, defeating Hope College at PGA Village in Port St. Lucie, Florida by a score of 680-714. to both Hartford golf teams will be in action this upcoming weekend. The men at the Towson Invitational in Maryland, the women at the Monmouth Invitational in New Jersey. 
Tennis picks up play again. The women host Marist on Wednesday. The men are at Fairfield on Thursday. Both teams on the road at Hofstra on Friday, and they wrap up the weekend hosting NJIT in West Hartford. And finally, the track team opens its outdoor schedule on the road at the Yukon Invitational on Saturday afternoon. That's all the time we have here on the Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Be sure to join us next week for the latest in Hartford Athletics.